Yo, what's up guys? It's Fly here. Today we're showing you guys how to make a very simple Fortnite thumbnail. Uh, it's very simple and honestly, I see a lot of people use it, but a lot of you guys don't know how to make one, so here's a tutorial. So first of all, you want to open up a new document that's 1280 by 720 with 72 resolution. Now, I have the Decisive Pack by JK Zo. Um, you guys can just download this pack. I will link it in the description down below if you guys want to download it. You know, it's, I really recommend downloading it though because it has a lot of good stuff you guys might use. So first, I'm going to go into the Fortnite backgrounds. I'm going to choose a random background. So maybe something like this. I'm going to drag it into my new 1280 by 720 document. Alright, now it looks like that right now. Position it a bit. And now you also want to go back in here. And then you want to go into the Fortnite renders right here. Alright, so I'm going to choose this render right here. Uh, just position it a bit like that maybe. You want to select the picture or the background. You want to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I make it like 1.9. As you see. I also do filter, blur, radio blur, 1. As you see like that. Now I'm going to click on that character. Go into their layer styles. Go to outer glow and then I'm gonna add a little outer glow so maybe something like that. Also I'm gonna add an inner glow also. So just adjust it. Honestly it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter. You best you basically gotta adjust it. Alright, so it looks like that now. Now I'm gonna go to the background, click on this right here, and then click on exposure. So I'm going to add some exposure to the background because it's a little dull right now. Something like that. Alright, now you want to just get any color correction. So I have this pack full of color corrections as you see. You can use whatever color corrections you want to. I'm going to use this one right here. As you see. So it looks pretty good as you see. Yep, looks nice. Alright, now what you want to do is just make a new layer. Create a clipping mask. And then I'm just going to give some light to the character right here. Soft light. Also to this side too. Some soft light. Down here, soft light. As you see. Now it looks like that. And now you have it like that. So what you want to do now is make a new text layer. So I'm going to use the Burbank font for this. So yeah, you want to type in anything. So I'm going to type in tutorial. Then make this bigger like that. And then just rotate it a bit. You know, make sure the text pops too, you guys. Alright. We don't like a little text. So I'm gonna take this color right here. Like like the color from her little whatever you call those. Alright, so like that maybe. Drag it behind the character. Make a new layer. Rasterize type. Make the fill zero. Double click on the tutorial copy or the new text copy. Make sure you make. Now you want to add a stroke. All right. Make sure it's inside. And I'm gonna make it like three, probably. Make it three, and then you want to make sure it's the same color as the text. All right. So after you make it the same color as the text, I'm gonna drag it into the clipping mask right here, like that. All right. So it should look like that right now. So now you want to duplicate the tutorial text, drag it down, and then you want to type in another text that you guys want. So I have this text right here. I have to say th I have, I'm gonna have to say thumbnail. So I'm gonna position it like this first, just so you guys can see it. All right. So now I have it like that, and I'm gonna use another color. So I'm gonna use probably this light little green right here probably now drag it behind the character control J rasterize type fill zero add a stroke change the color to the color of the regular text and then drag it into the character All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna add a drop shadow to the text so I'm gonna make it that uh, 
Honestly, you guys can just adjust it to your liking. It doesn't really matter. So it looks like that now. It looks pretty decent right now, guys. Very simple. Now what you want to do is make a new layer, create clipping mask onto the text. So I have it on the first text right now. And I'm just going to take the pen tool and just go like that to it right there. Make selection. And then just go with the black right here. Just click around it like that. As you see, it looks like that now. So what? I, so now what you can do is just duplicate that layer, drag it over the other text, and then create a clipping mask, and just move it down. And you can just adjust it to how you guys want. Like that. All right. Now I'm gonna go back into the text layer styles. Click inner shadow, make sure it's white, make sure it's overlay, and then also opacity 100, like that, and distance at three, and all these are at zero. I'm gonna copy the layer style, and then just paste the layer style onto the other one. So it should look like that. And then I'm gonna add some extra lighting on the face too, so I'm gonna take a white brush, brush over the face, and then soft light, and then just lower it down a bit like that, as you see. And I'm also gonna go back to the strokes that are clipped onto the character and add a drop shadow. All right, so as you see, once you add the drop shadow, it makes it a little clearer. As you see, now you can see a little bit more. So it looks like that now, as you see. All right, so now you wanna select everything. Control G, Control J, Control E. Select it with the rectangular marquee tool. Control J, delete the bottom layer. So now you have this one whole layer. As you see, it's all fitted. And now you wanna right click the layer, convert to smart object. Now, I'm gonna open a magic bullet looks and just do some final effects. Um, you don't even need to do this. You're basically done. But I'm just gonna do it just for purposes. All right, so after you choose your magic bullet looks, click finished and there's a little difference as you see all right you know you see a big lighting difference all right but now what you want to do is go to filter go to lens correction go to custom then I just add some chromatic aberration right here so I'm gonna make this like 80 or something and click OK so as you see you see a little chromatic aberration right there as you see now what you want to do is go to filter noise and add noise i'm gonna add like one noise to it so last effect is going to be sharpen i'm gonna click smart sharpen and then i have it 200 1 10 remove lens blur and then click ok all right that's basically it so um it's very easy thumbnail to make as you see it was literally like no layers at all basically all right but if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you guys want more tutorials please don't hesitate to comment down below all right so yeah, that's basically it. Fall out. Peace.